All right, guys, uh, I'm in the S650 Mustang. This video is going to be strictly an intake test. So we are, I am using the draggy device like a dyno jet. And what I mean by that is I have figured out the mile an hour to be in the sweet spot of the RPM through one gear, just like you would do on a dyno pull. In this case, uh, I have the draggy set uh, to, to measure from 60 to 110, 60 to 111, all the way to 115. Uh, and the reason is because the rev limiters on these cars seem to be a little inconsistent. And uh, maybe you'll see an example when I do this test. Anyways, it's gonna measure how, how many seconds it takes to get from 60 to 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, and 115. This is a same day back-to-back -back test not on the drag pack, no weight out, no seat out. I'm not trying to perform miracle passes. This is very specifically for testing. The car is in daily driver trim with the 20 inch wheels and all that stuff. So again, I'm not trying to impress anybody by this video. This is specifically to see if the intake that I ported will pick up gains, okay? I will do my baseline here and then I will go back to the house, I'll swap the intake, I'll go over the differences on the ported versus the stock intake, uh, and then I'll do the test again, same exact way. It's gonna be three hits, same exact three spots with the stock intake and the ported intake, and then we'll just go from there. I'm not really, honestly guys, I'm not expecting anything. I will be super so stoked if I see one or two tenth gain or something like that. Now, I have learned on a pull like this, I do this on my other cars, it's actually not that hard to see a, a tenth or two gain in a single gear pull. All right, uh, just made some hits and I'm a little disappointed because the, uh, the video there's no overlay like when there's like quarter mile stuff and 6130 stuff when you do a custom mode which is what i'm doing so i have all the results right here they all they all measured up to 115 looks like about 116 is where the limiter comes in so anyways let me go over them really quick my favorite spot my first spot was the very first hit and again i got to make each one in order um Hopefully the ported intake results show the second spot slower and it always is. I have a routine that I do. So the first spot in Mexico, we cracked off one single gear pull 60 to 115 was a 7.45, all right? 7.45 seconds. Right afterwards, car's all hot and stuff, and we're going, It's there's a cold front in Florida right now, so the wind's blowing south. We went against the wind, okay? And the second pass was a 761, so we lost a tenth and a half, okay? So 761, then we drove for a little while to another spot of Mexico that's quite a bit further away, some nice cool down time. We went back the other way, so we went with the wind, uh, and we actually had a little bit more slope again. So it was very comparable to the first spot and we got back into the 740s, we went to 741. Now, I can't sit and drive around and drive around and drive around, so that's just what it is. It's gonna be a 745, a 761, and a 741. If I were to make the three hits in the exact same spot, they would be within very, very small, I mean, when I do that, it's within hundreds, okay? So I'm very happy with the results. I just wish that that 761 wasn't in there, but this is why we're testing, right? So let's see what happens with the ported intake. Guys, so uh, I went and made those hits on the stock manifold, stock port and everything. Uh, I am in the process of swapping to the ported intake manifold that I ported myself. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, the process here. So here is Project Dud. Got it all ripped apart, okay? Well, I say all ripped apart, just the intake manifolds off. Car has about 800 miles on it now, I believe. So I got this. 
There's my Whipple, in, uh, Whipple air filter equipped stock intake tubes. A couple things here, just try to stay organized. The fuel rails, these are the factory fuel rails. This is the one I just took off. Stock manifold, there's not a lot of differences here, okay? I just wanna show you the porting. So here you can see, this is the factory arrangement. So notice there, see all that blockage there? There's mine, my port job. Notice the air straighteners here, and then on the other side up there, gone gone um, and then there's a huge see that big lip there big lip I mean quarter inch almost okay that step down there so I blended all that got rid of that back there and then on this side there's that big bump there and then look at I mean look how sloppy that is it's actually pretty significant the flaws in this now I don't know how much performance it's robbing but I'm just showing you the factory inside here so you can kind of get an idea of how I ported it okay so let's go to this one. So now see the difference? I opened it up on the diameter, uh, about a millimeter on both sides. And then I went in and I smoothened it all, all the way to, to, the, to the roof basically. And then I went down, down deep, smoothened all that out. The, if you saw the amount of material that I took out, <clears throat> it, was pretty, it was pretty incredible. So uh, yeah, I mean, I took a lot out of the inlet. And again, notice that difference there versus that so this is really all I have to show you here now let's flip these around I'm not gonna go over the sides over here I'm just gonna go over what's close together right here and then you can see the differences okay so first I'll go over it without any light on so let's go here and then here and then here okay so what I did here is I only worked on the, the long side, so this side, okay? I didn't really touch this side where the IMRCs are. So if I'll show you when I put the light on here. Now notice the big difference in the injector bungs. I took as much as I could off of those until it started getting into where the O-ring would sit. So as you can see, I mean, look at the difference, right? Now, um, I didn't go crazy here. When you get a port from a, a, a Barber, a 1320, all those guys, it's gonna be much more significant port work. Now I can't promise you that the injector boss is gonna be practically gone like that, okay? See, so it's like a double ribbed for her pleasure type deal. And I mean, it's, it's I took a lot out. So basically, you'll notice like on the sides in here, there's all the, the ledges and all that stuff. That's all I worked on was from this little crev this little piece here, this little, you know, that right here, all this to here, down about four inches. So look, see? So I did it the same in every port, and I made it match. I measured everything. I measured cross, uh, so, so the port job is very consistent. It's hand ported, of course, but it's very consistent. I did all the measuring. You know, I measured from like here to here, an inch down, and it was like 25.54 millimeters on every single one of them. I wanted to make it very consistent, so I'm not gonna spend much more time on it. I'm gonna get this thing on the car, and then I'm gonna go finish this testing up, guys, all right? Whew, all right, man, that took a few hours. So, um, for some reason, I've never ever had an issue swapping intake manifolds on a car and man I was so mad I, I got the intake manifold swapped real quick and easy I mean I've done this so many times so let me tell you I had to walk away my wife went and got me dinner and stuff it's still daylight and everything the DA is actually a little bit worse so um, I wasn't able to get like back to back testing within like 30 minutes I mean that's usually what I can do but I put it back together and I had all kinds of lights, wrench wrench light. I don't know what happened. All I'm gonna say is I took it back apart like two more times, checked all the connectors, did everything, and then somehow, some way at the very end, I had two codes. I cleared them with my Livernoy my calibrator. And uh, hopefully I, I, nothing's nothing's happening right now. So let's see what happens. Uh, DA is 1258, it's a couple degrees warmer. But I mean, if we see a couple, you know, a couple tenths gains, maybe, you know, maybe it's 10 horsepower. So let's see what happens. 
Uh, I'm literally about to go right now, so uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, um, my first hit, I went ahead, I'm not using the draggy video because it's not working and it's really making me mad. So I turned on my normal phone and uh, I want you guys to see what I'm doing. I don't think you're gonna see any video up until this hit. So my very first hit, I'm already, I set a personal best. Um, so this is the second hit. Again, I'm doing them in order in the same spots. So if you were to average them out right now, they're probably about the same. Uh, there's no smoking gun here. All right, fingers crossed, man. If I got like a 720 something, it would be, I would say, pretty cool. Because I would say it would be a, like a legitimate gain here. But based on what I'm seeing thus far, I'm not seeing anything that's like a, like I call it a smoking gun. Now if I go a seven, like I said, if I go a 72 here, then I would say it's a significant impact. Ready? Here we go. Seven forty one. <clears throat> so that would be <sighs> I'm going to show a little bit of an improvement, I think, when I average them out. Um, but it's gonna be very, very small improvement, okay? Let me see if that was valid, yeah. That was actually uphill at the very end. So, what I'm gonna do is, I've got some results on the phone, uh, on the Draggy app, I'm gonna go over them and, and explain them so uh, we can, you know, finalize this testing and, and get the results out there. I should throw this out there, I used to make money with in the horsepower world, so, um, you know, 15, 20 years ago, I used to port intakes, spec camshafts for people, and do all kinds of stuff in terms of naturally aspirated horsepower, okay? I don't offer that. I'm not going to sell this port job. I just wanted to do it because I wanted to learn this car, um, and I'm not going to get too far into the details on the porting. I showed you guys the details earlier in the video, uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to flip this phone around, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the results. I'm gonna go out there and say that I'm happy with it. Um, the testing results were almost 400 feet DA more for the ported intake. The fact that it didn't actually slow down and it was a little bit quicker overall, I did the math and it was a few hundredths quicker on the average, but like, you know, the best versus the best is a pretty significant difference. And again, you know, we're dealing with naturally aspirated here, so I'm gonna go on a limb and say that if it was the exact same DA, and I wouldn't have ran into the hiccups that I had on the install, and I could have tested it right away, I think we would have seen, I, I honestly think we would have seen about a tenth, tenth of a second gain, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna, when I go over the results, uh, there's some math you can do on car lengths and stuff, like if you're racing somebody. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna go over these results. So the first run here, 862 DA, third gear, one single gear pull, no shifts affecting anything, okay? 745 from 60 to 115. After the ported intake was on the first run in the same exact spot, 737. So look at the look at the distance it took. It took 971 feet, it took 961 feet basically, so about 10 feet. All right, so these these S550 uh, and S650 Mustangs are 16 feet long. This ported intake run, uh, if this was your your stock in you know two cars racing, this would have won the race. Now look at the DA. The DA on this one is 1215. Again, the DA on this one is 862. So on this run, same spot, the ported intake wins and it's a higher DA. So run number two, 
is a spot right after, literally right after run number one, is a heat-soaked, you know, just got on it, let's do it again. And um, this says a po- um, this says a negative slope, this says a positive, but I can tell you guys on this exact spot, um, and I do this a lot, it does go up at the end, so that's accurate. I made these hits in the same spot. So on this run, they're very close. You're two, you're two hundredths away. Now you're nine ninety two feet and you're nine ninety four. So let's call it a bumper. If this if this was a race, the stock intake would have won by about a bumper. Now there's variables here. There's the same eight sixty two da and there's the twelve fifteen da. Okay, take it for what it's worth. All right. Two hundredths, but more DA. Let's go to the third run. They are exactly the same. They were, again, made in the same spot. The difference here is, is it's 862 verse 1215 DA. So this is the same exact times. Now, let's look at the 967 versus the 966. So even though they're the same exact time, it's not getting into the thousandths and all that stuff. It's just tenths and hundredths, okay? Even though um, it's a 741 versus 741, it did it a little bit quicker. I mean, it's it's almost immeasurable, but when you're going that fast, you know, a foot is a foot. But but anyways, technically, if they're racing, this one would have won. So the first one was a clear win. The second one was a clear loss. The third one was a clear win. To me, that's kind of like a wash. There's no smoking gun. Um you know, there's no multiple tense, uh, you know, undebatable. This is um, just a test in a single gear, same spot, number one, two, and three. It is what it is, guys. All right, so I showed you the results. Um, there it is. There's no, you know, half a second gain, no two, three, four, or five tenths. The DA was not the same. I really wish it would have been the same because, again, I do think it would have shown gains, but I can't claim it. I can't, you know, I can't, I can't claim it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the next test of this kind will be like um, the headers probably, and then we'll go from there. So um, as always, you guys like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned because the next video I'm hoping to show the Raptor. Uh, we got into the 12s with the Raptor with the Whipple Stage 1 EcoBoost kit. I'm super happy about it. It took weeks and weeks and weeks of just, you know, testing and making hits. And, you know, when I get the time to, 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 to figure things out. So um, we'll go over all that soon. And uh, and then hopefully, like I said, we're going to be putting headers on the S650, um, taking some more weight out. And then we'll, we will be preparing it to race at Mod Nationals. So uh, when the cool air comes through, we're going to look to get some new best. I'm hoping to go mid-11s on the street, stop and go, and like mid-9s in the 60 to 130. So stay tuned, and we'll see you later.